So, today I woke up and decided, hey, I feel like doing a crazy hike. I'm gonna hike from uh, my place all the way to Waterdown. Just because. So I put in a tra thing on my Google Maps. Apparently there's a trails that connect. It says it's about four hours. So, uh, let's, uh, why don't you just come along on this journey with me? How about that? Yeah, you know? And uh, see where it takes us. See what we see. So then, where is it on here? I can't barely see it, but right there, way over there, that water tower, that's water down. So, if I had a giant zip line, that'd be fun. Like Google Maps it doesn't send you the best way sometimes. I feel like I could have cut like at least half an hour, 45 minutes off my hike, or whatever, um, if I went the way I'm used to. What the hell? Okay, so, but this is what uh, urban hiking is all about, right? So, let's keep going. this it's hard to tell but this is actually quite steep for some reason we keep going up and down up and down where if I had just stayed on the Shadok trail uh, we would have been fine this is a flat trail <laughs> and all came out of the right same spot <clears throat> I never even thought, I, never, I don't even think I've ever been this way before. So I found a kind of cool urban camping kind of spot. I might have to try out sunken pit there, the fire pit. I got my best uh, homeless man uh, facade going right now with my hair looking like Kramer. Um, so, well, let's, <laughs> let's keep going. this huh. so that looks awesome but this little lookout kind of stops you from getting a good view 
Um, come out this way. Watch out for golf balls. Because we are on <laughs> the 17th hole at Chinook Golf Course now. I guess, yeah. Not too shabby. Okay, let's get back on our trail. This comes right out where I said we could have come up. So this is the trail we could have actually come out on from those stairs I took. That I think would have saved a lot of time. But, oh well, let's keep going. Wow, what a fuzzy map. Okay, so we started somewhere. Here, we gotta get over here. Or somewhere up there, it's past there actually. Water down its way up here. After all that, we're back on the street. From the woods to the street, probably another two hours of walking. place closed. It's been there forever. Well, I was going there before I was a year old. Yeah. But he retired, so closed down. I think I do find the downtown Hamilton. Those people are so rude. See, I sometimes, I'm not having a good day, I say good morning to people. And every person I say good morning to just, they just keep staring straight ahead and then acknowledge the good morning. So, downtown Hamilton, you're rude. Well, let's keep going. So that, over there, the house in the middle, that's my old barber shop when I was a kid. That's where my dad used to always go. You could go there, get your hair cut. While my dad was getting his hair cut, I'd have a pop. And then when it was my turn to get my hair cut, the barber would give my dad a beer. Uh, the good old days. Now to the other side, across the road there, behind me, is uh, Thunder and Castle. Castle's a... That's pretty neat. Uh, I think I've posted a video of the tour inside it before. If not, maybe I'll do another tour one day. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. <clears throat> okay, after almost being hit by two vehicles now, while I had the right of way of crossing, I'm kind of getting tired of this urban hiking. So, just kind of came off the sidewalk and over here. This is part of the Dundurn Castle property. And uh, it's kind of neat. Look what we got here. We got ourselves a cannon. And then, uh, That's pretty neat, eh? So yeah, and I stepped off. Uh, the grass is wet. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna throw my shoe. Okay, well anyways, there's cannons all along here. There's another one over there. There's a marker, we'll go check that out in a minute. What is going on down here? So there used to be something down here. Huh. Oh. Give you some time to read it if you want. If not, just pause it if I'm going too fast. It's hard to see it, but this stone marks the line of earthworks 
in first line of defense, 1812 to 1815. And placed here by the Wentworth Historical Society in 1814. That's pretty neat. And of course, another cannon facing out into the bay there, which is uh, the entrance to Lake Ontario. Not sure if you can see some of the big, uh, the big freighters out there bringing supplies in. All right, let's continue on this walk. Other than the super loud traffic beside me, I'm not even sure if you can hear me. Um, <laughs> we're starting to at least get out of the city smell. It's unbelievable the sm what the, down the downtown smells like. It's like every street corner smells like something worse. So uh, it's nice I'm starting to actually smell the trees again, at least. So onward. It's about the marathon runners. Okay, right, let's keep going. So we're coming up on the high level bridge. Now there's a, a story about this one as well. So this is all Hamilton Harbor, Burlington Bay. There's literally a mosquito here. What the hell? Mosquitoes are supposed to be gone. What is this? Let's keep going, away from the mosquitoes. So, here was, here was placed in the second line of the fence, 1812, 1815. So, here we go, let's take a look at this. Boy, some people are idiots. Like completely, <laughs> that's just stupid. But uh, there's the view. I've kayaked all around in here. It's nice actually in there. Swan down there. I'm not sure what's going on over there. They're doing some kind of building, digging up a bunch of stuff. Probably for the railroad. So uh, there's a trail down there, but we're gonna keep going this way. So. Okay, onward. So that's Coot's Paradise over there. Um, that's all off limit to motorboats and whatnot. So it's all protected, which is nice. So again, you know, well, somebody said hi to me, so I said hi back. It's nice. But again, every other person I've said hi to today, uh, you know, just ignored me completely. Maybe it's the hair. Maybe they actually think I'm a homeless guy walking around with a, a camera on a tripod and, you know, sketcher running shoes. <laughs> Who knows? There's so much new shit on this thing. I'm not trying to step in, trying to step in my shoes. Um, anyways, we're actually getting closer to the place where I grew up. So, the problem is there is no sidewalks where I grew up. So. But there's also a lot less traffic. And uh, nicer views. So let's keep going. Some nice fall colors down here. Starting up oh, in the trees. Talk some snappy trees right here. Probably not right now because it's kind of cold. Of garbage too. Actually, that's over there. It's the first place I ever ice skated. My godparents took me there when I was really little, and uh, 
cleared off the ice and I went skating. Wild grapes. See? Yeah. Mm. They're loaded in seeds though, so we're using this take the juice and flush. So, very tart. Love them. <clears throat> so, we're almost there. I'm actually changed my course a little bit. Figured since I was Google Maps sent me a wrong direction, something happened. It, it changed course on me. So, instead of going direct, route it took me around in a different way which still takes me towards water down but it takes me to the path where i grew up so i figure i'll stop and say hi to my mom and that's about it there used to be a house here it burned down years ago it was abandoned when it burned down yeah i got blamed for it but in the end it was okay it wasn't me this hasn't been fixed all year is a sinkhole. It's only a matter of time before the sinkhole goes. Oh no, is that a skunk? No, it's a squirrel. Okay. <laughs> so, go to your eyes, YouTube. We're gonna move him out of the way. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, I think I got blood on my shoes. Here's where I grew up. The house I grew up in is behind all these trees here. <laughs> I can't even see it. Okay, I'll wait till we get there. We go. Here's where I grew up. Okay, I gotta go get water. I'm dying. I did not bring water on this whole hike. Oh so I uh, made it to water down. I'm gonna keep going. Let's go bug Gary. There you go. See, water down so much nicer already. Every person that walks by me says hello. Not this guy. Hello. Which is really awesome. See, there are still nice people in this world. 